Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Infected. My name is Blonde Don, and thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now, in this episode, I've got a few things that I want to get done. One of the main things is an ongoing task. Uh, obviously, if you've seen any of my past episodes, one of my main goal, the main goal, I guess, would be to get the vehicle up and running. Um, what the, the biggest thing holding me back right now is plastic, which I spent all of last episode trying to kind of figure out. Uh, well, not all of last episode, but a, a big chunk trying to figure out it, how viable that was going to be um, to just make that plastic. And turns out it's not very viable. Not at all, actually. So what I want to do this episode is actually get into some towns, uh, hit up a couple and see how much plastic we can find there. Um, I can't remember offhand how much we need, but we need quite a bit more. I'm pretty sure we need at least like 20 or something like something crazy like that. And we currently have zero. So that's the obvious uh, overarching goal. Um, the other thing I wanted to check out was in here this thing the greenhouse so you guys were mentioning this and you have been mentioning it for a while i haven't really looked that much into it because i haven't had mike uh, but now that i've got him i figured it was going to be pretty expensive but turns out it's not that bad 60 nails 60 planks which i mean that's a lot but we can make that pretty fast especially with how much wood that we've had mike uh muster up for us or, or collect for us um then we only need eight copper ingot and 30 glass that's super cheap um, this thing's gonna be kicking out sand left and right, and I don't- we, I, we might even have- We already got 17 glass just right here, we might have more kind of scattered throughout, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all. I'm guessing we're gonna have to put it on platforms, um, like foundations like that, like Mike's house in the town hall. Uh, which isn't a huge deal, it just takes a little bit of time to get them down, but that's not the end of the world. We could put it maybe somewhere over there. I guess I kind of want to keep it all together. It doesn't seem like the infected really go after Mike or the buildings that we made. So that's really good. I think they're just mainly focused on my main base, which is inside my little compound here. So that's really good. So I think I'm going to do that this episode. And another thing that you guys mentioned was moving one of the extractors to the aluminum cave. Um, if you saw any of the past episodes, I had a copper extractor up here as well as down here. And then I consolidated them both down here. And I don't know why I didn't just move it over to here, to the, to the aluminum. Because aluminum is really what we need. What are we sitting at with copper? Yeah, we've got two, three full shelves of copper. Totally fine there. So that's another thing I'm going to get done this episode. Um, and then what else is there? I, there was a few things. I know you guys mentioned that Mike is going to be auto planting essentially everything after I kind of get him up and running with the, the original, like I have to plant them first and then he starts replenishing them. I'll have to deal with that once I get the greenhouse, but that's really good information. Um, but right now, let me get these wires. Well, wait, let's see. How is this hooked up right now? Looks like it, we are running to the, the oil extractor here. Uh... It's not even on though. Let's just turn that on. And we'll let that run. We can get a couple of oil cans out of that. Uh, we're definitely going to need the oil cans to make some planks down here. Oh, oh man. I'm going to have to like block this off. I fall down here all the time. Uh, and I apologize. I know it's really dark. Ooh, I just thought of something. This is again going to be way in the future, but I'm thinking like lights out here. Lights running. We're going to finish this bridge with roofs all the way across and then run lights all the way across. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Oh, that's I'm so excited for that. OK, <laughs> uh, but yeah, what I was saying that we're going to need oil in this. This has got probably less than a quarter oil left. Um, So, yeah, we're really going to need some oil here soon, too. Uh, but for now, it's nighttime. I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time here uh, during the night because I know it's hard for both you and I uh, for me to see. So what I think I'm going to do right now is I've got a ton of energy still left. I think I'm just gonna try and make a quick run into town and see if I can get some looting done. Now, I don't I don't remember all of the towns that I've hit. I wanna see I haven't hit this one in the bottom left. I don't, I don't think I have. So I say we go down there and then is there another town over here? No, I don't know what that area is. There's a town here that I'm pretty certain I've hit, but I don't remember. We can hit both these. We'll take the cart down here. Oh, no, this is what we'll do. We'll take cart over here, get some aluminum, come down here, hit this town, and then come hit this town over here. And then we will, I guess, make our way back. Yeah, let me uh, let me do that. And um, 
yeah, I will see you guys soon. So, <laughs> quick update. As you can tell, it is daytime. It's 7.30 in the morning, and I'm just now making it to the second town. So I spent basically all night traveling from our base all the way down to the first town, and all the plastic I found is right here. <laughs> found one piece of plastic. Um, and then, I, But I did find some biofuel as well as some cans of oil, so that's actually not too bad. I was hoping for a little bit more uh, plastic, but unfortunately nothing so far. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys really quick. I'm going to go through here. Uh, that's one thing that I'm finding a lot of is electrical parts. So I guess I can't complain too much. I mean, that's not going to stop me from complaining, but uh, I would really like to find some more plastic because I am getting desperate. Uh, but less desperate, but more impatient. I really want to get that vehicle because I think I spend half my time at this point. If I'm going to different towns, I spend like half my time traveling. So it just, it would be so nice to have a vehicle at this point. But we'll get there. I just got to be a little bit more patient. Got to set uh, some more realistic expectations for myself and for you guys. But for the time being, um, I am finding a ton of wire. I don't have it on me. I put it all in the cart. Um, but yeah, we should should be okay there and I'm finding a lot of Kevlar as well and Judging by oh, I am 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, yeah, I should start putting on the cooling clothes, but um, wow wait It's my vision getting bad because I'm so hot. Oh, there's plastic. Oh Man, we might Can we does going into water? Can we go swimming? Will that do anything for us as far as like heat goes? Um, we're right next to water, so I think it might be worth a shot. Uh, let's see. How close are we? Oh my, it's so close. Let's just go down there right away. Uh, I don't know what houses I hit. I think I hit this one and this one. I just gotta remember that, but this is kind of getting me worried. It just seems... Ooh. Here, come here. Let's go. Oh, we got two of them. Speaking of these two... Um, I was in the middle of saying before that I did want to make some armor. One of you guys had mentioned it to me recently, and so I wanted to see if we can get that done because we've got a ton of Kevlar at this point. Oh my goodness. Come get me. What are you pouncing at up there, buddy? Um, yeah, no, it's still showing 100. Well, it's that's the outside temperature. Our body temperature is not going anywhere. So, going in the water does not cool us down, unfortunately. Ooh, that's rough. I really wish it did. That'd be super nice. Especially in a situation like this. And by a situation like this, I mean one where I'm unprepared completely and totally. <laughs> Which is like 90% of my situations that I find myself in. Um, I'm going to try and loot these as fast as I can. Uh, ooh! A water house! That works out perfect! Oh, so this, so I definitely haven't, um, I definitely haven't looted this town, considering there's a blueprint. Oh my gosh, so many Kevlar, or so much Kevlar. Um, so yeah, let me, let me try and get through this really quickly before I die of heat exhaustion. Um, oh gosh, I really, <laughs> I joke about that, but I am actually kind of concerned. So, let's do this really quick, and I will talk to you guys soon. Ooh, guys, look at this. 
Solar panel. Oh, that's awesome. So I think it might be a little bit spendy for the solar panel, but we've got it now. Those might be... I think I only have two more blueprints after these. After finding these. That is awesome. Oh, man, I'm so excited. This, tom this potato paste, I don't think this helps our heat exhaustion, does it? I think that's, that's just for our sun exposure. Um, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on my health because I think it's draining just, like, solely from how much I'm suffering from uh, this heat exhaustion. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep at this and, and talk to you guys when we get back. All right, we have made it back. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Getting things done? What are you doing? All right, never mind, man. Um, anyway, uh, we've made it back. We're alive. We didn't run into any bears or wolves or any kind of uh, animal that wants to kill us. So that is good. Um, the weather almost killed us, though. We were desperately hot. Um, let's go over here. Uh, which one of these? The cargo pants? That should be good to cool us off, right? Minus four heat, and then the cooling shirt. And I think that's it for those two things. Oh, we want the hat, too. Yeah, minus five heat. Oh, oh we have to get rid of the lamp? What are we at right now? We're dropping low. Let's, um, let's wait this out, see how we're feeling. We, we already got rid of our heat exhaustion thing. Um... So I think we're good there. Ooh, we definitely need some healing, though. But anyway, so that run, it, unfortunately, we didn't get a whole lot of plastic. We got uh, three total. <laughs> so really not much. Um, that's all right. We did get nine cans of oil, which is really good, and another 10 biofuel. So that's awesome. Um, that's actually pretty good profit. Um, so let's actually look at, ooh, yeah, that's out and that's out. Um, I should probably have these running, right? Because we need iron still pretty bad. Eh, we're at like 30-something right now, but I'm sure we're going to need it for a lot of a lot of other things. So let's, let's put two in here for now and just let that run. Um, we're okay on stones for a little bit. Does it have anything in it? Let's take these. Um, ooh, how are we sitting on this? We got three out of that? Okay. Not bad. Probably out of power, aren't we? Oh no, this shut off and recharged. Um, do we leave this going or do we hook the lights back up? Maybe get some sand and iron frags out of that. We probably do want some sand. Do we have any? We've got 30, almost 40. Ooh, we don't really need sand right now. Okay. So that's good. So a couple of things on this, um, the stone grinder, a couple of you mentioned something. One of you told me to, to look at the details of this. And then someone just already told me, um, in the bottom left, you see, just hit H to discard all the sand. <laughs> I did not see that before. I built this, the most expensive garbage can in the world just to get rid of sand. Uh, when I could have just cleared it out before I even picked any of it up. Um, <laughs> that's okay though. Uh, we'll find a use for this. I mean, we've already thrown other way, uh, other things away with it and we'll, we'll fit it in somewhere in the design of the whole base here. Like I said, that, um, that revamp, that whole renovation type episode should be coming soon here. Want to get a little bit further here in, uh, in terms of all the, the things that we crafted and the furniture that we have. Um, and then we'll, we'll get a whole episode dedicated to revamping this whole place. That one's going to be a fun one. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was that was a pretty good run. Um, we got a lot of Kevlar. Let's actually look at that right now. Let's take this aluminum. Let's see what it takes to make some Kevlar armor. Uh, let's see here. So, five cloth and ten Kevlar, and then five cloth and eight Kevlar. So, 18 total Kevlar. How much do we have? We've got six on us. Seven. Oh, no. Is that it? Oh, I used it on something else. Oh no, we only have seven Kevlar total. <laughs> we do. Dang it, I thought we had so much more. All right, what does it take to craft that then? It takes uh, three cloth, three plastic. Nope, not doing it. I'm not using plastic on it, sorry. We're putting it away for now. Okay, 
So I cleared out uh, both of these uh, cart boxes and basically threw everything everywhere. Uh, <laughs> it's a complete and utter disaster, but I think it's gonna be all right. Um, oh my gosh, I've got so much food. I've got a ton of spoiled food on me, actually. Let's make something of that then. Oh, I don't have any room. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Um, here, actually, let's feed our friend over here. Oh, oh. All right, I know I, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't put these here. Mike must be taking care of the crops. All right. All right, so I guess I have a ton of food that I need to eat or get rid of somehow. Um, let's just eat the food since Mike is replenishing everything. What do we have him? So he had corn and potatoes. Is that all we have planting? Um, no, we've got, what is that? Uh, wait, I think these are potatoes, aren't they? These three things? Not 100% sure, but he's got, there's a pumpkin over here. Wait, is he able to get to these? He should be able to, right? He can walk through everything else, so I th he should be able to harvest these. I don't know, I kind of want to just, I think just grew right in front of us, um, move these three off to the side here, so there's a little walkway in between. Um, can we, oh, this one's still growing. Uh, I'll wait till they're done growing. All right, so now that I do have some oil, let me throw it into this. Maybe we should, oh, we got a visitor. Maybe we should uh, start our greenhouse. Now it doesn't say that it needs to be built on a uh, f on foundations, but I would assume so. Considering these two have to, I just assume at this point, everything has to be. Wait a minute, it doesn't? Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, why do those have to be, but not, I'm not gonna question it, whatever. Um, hmm. So now that kind of opens up a little bit of creativity. Not that, you know, I'm gonna make it creative, but let's uh, let's get a better view of this and maybe we can figure out a decent spot for our greenhouse. So we've got options. We've got all this area too, but I don't really want Mike jumping from one end of the compound all the way to the other. I think obviously it's going to be over here somewhere. I'm just not certain where just yet. Um, I'm thinking, oh man, maybe we put it somewhere out in that area where all those trees are. I'd have to take down all the trees, I assume, but have it like facing towards the compound. I'm not, uh, I'm not certain. Every spot that I think of doesn't, like I, I, it's hard for me to imagine it there. So I'm not really gonna know until I actually get it down and of course like fully built. Or maybe just over there in that kind of wide open area. Since it's already next to those buildings, I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's do that. Um, We'll place it down. We'll start getting it. Whoa, we'll start getting it uh, built over here. All right, um, I'm guessing, oh, the trees don't stop it. Okay. So let's see if we, oh, the terrain's probably too uneven there. I don't want it to look too goofy. So maybe we can put it like right in here. Uh, not a huge fan of that floating. Curious how that's gonna look. I have a question. You can move just about anything in this game. Can we? Okay, it's telling me I can move this. I don't really want to because I've got these things set up in it. But I'm going to assume that we can actually move this. It showed the, the command for it in the bottom left when I looked at it. So I'm willing to bet that this isn't much different. <laughs> I hope it isn't, but, but there's only one way to find out. So let's get some nails, some planks, some copper, and some glass going.
All right, we are the last stretch. I think we need 16 more planks. Okay, got 16. Oh, we're a little overweight here. All right, let's head over there and see how this thing looks. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Oh, this was so much cheaper than I even realized. That was... Oh, that was Mike. <laughs> I didn't know what in the world that was. Mike, you scared me, buddy. All right, sorry, I'm kind of cutting off your uh, path here, but promise it's going to be great. Well, it's going to be great for me. It's going to make you work like a lot harder, so sorry about that. And boom, look at this thing. Oh, this thing's so cool. It's, yeah, we need some flat ground for, for this thing. Um, maybe we should just put it on, on, on some, uh, foundations anyway, just so it'll look a little bit better. Do we just, can we, yeah, I mean, it'd look good if we just kept building this out here. Have this, this lakeside type of situation. I don't even know what you would call it, but, um, yeah, let me do that, uh, because it's gonna make me feel a lot better about how this whole thing's set up. And Mike will probably be happy with it because it's right next to his house. You're welcome, Mike. I really do nothing but good things for this guy. Um, and he refuses to talk to me. And I'm okay with that right now. But, I mean, what's the point of, of rescuing the guy if, if, if he just ignores me this whole time? Like, I get it. He's really helping me out. I do. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. I appreciate that. But, like, come on. Uh, a word here or there? A little thank you would actually be really nice. But <laughs> anyway, let's get some logs, let's get some, some planks, and uh, let's get this built. Oh my goodness. I just realized what was happening. So I've been bringing all these logs over here. And then going back to grab them over there. And all he is doing, he's just bringing them all back. <laughs> and we just keep going back. Oh, no, 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 no. No, oh, get away from me. No. Oh. <laughs> Why? Where did this thing come from? No, stop. Uh. Come on, stop. Mike, little help. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my goodness. Mike. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> oh, as I was saying, uh, we got zero work done because we just keep going in circles. I can't believe that. Just, I cannot believe that. I was trying to just stockpile them over here and he's picking all of them up and just putting them back all the way back in the inside of the compound. Oh, I, that's my fault. I feel, <laughs> feel kind of dumb for that. But, um, okay, now I know better. Now I know not to trust Mike. But now now it's nighttime. It's going to be hard to see. I'm going to try and finish this up really quick and, and talk to you guys soon. <laughs> all right. Good morning, you guys. It is 7 in the morning. I was able to finish the platform out here, so let's go check that out. And I got a little bit smarter and decided to put some log stands over here so that me and Mike weren't working against each other. So let me move these log stands here. And once I get these moved, we can see if the greenhouse is going to sit on here okay. Oh, I'm so glad that we can move this. I remember so many episodes back, like in the beginning of the series, I was so happy about the fact that you can move things because I thought it was like realistic and not many survival games actually allow it. Um, and I was so happy about this one actually allowing it. 
but uh, this might be a little less realistic, but <laughs> hey, I think um, I think we give him a break on this one. Okay, I kind of want to, I think, line it up with these ones. Where are we at in terms of space? This is kind of hard to angle just right. I guess we can move it again if we need. Um, so how does that look? Let's, uh, let's go back a little ways. No, that's not too bad. I'm going to be honest, you guys. I'm already thinking about moving all three of these. And that's like we build out like... He always scares me. I'm used to being the only one chopping wood and making noise out here. And every other time that there's noise, it's always something that wants to kill me. So, I don't know. I don't know Mike all that well yet. Maybe he does want to kill me. Do you? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I think I think it's okay right here for now. Um, I definitely need some stairs for both Mike and myself. Over here, I have a kind of a double stairs for both of these because I planned on really only having these two here. But the greenhouse kind of changed things. I might end up just building stairs all the way along here. Now, I didn't really... I didn't really think that's what this episode was going to be, is just basically looting and building, but it's not really a bad thing. We're getting a lot done, it's just, it, it takes a little time, that's for sure. Yeah, we might want stairs all along this whole thing. What does it take for the stairs again? Three logs, four planks. Um, I've already spent a ton of time building, so I'm just going to do one set of stairs right now. Even though it's going to be off-centered from this, and it's <laughs> that's going to kind of bug me. No, it's not going to be off center because we're going to move it. So where is the center of this? I guess it's just in the dead center of this one foundation. Um, let's see. Can we move this? We need to move this to it. There we go. Okay. Now let's go up here. And we need to get in the dead center of this one. And then we, oh, we want to make sure that this is right too. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, Six in the middle of the sixth one in the dead center of this or as close to center as we can get here So one two three four five. Oh gosh, this is so hard. They all blend in together once I start counting three four five six It's this one right here Okay Oh, it's slightly off-centered. Oh, it's, it's like slightly off-centered. How's that look? Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's get four more planks and we will have some stairs for this bad boy. All right, this ain't, this ain't too shabby. We're getting kind of a strip mall type situation going on here. So I guess we really don't need to do a whole lot except for start putting some plant beds in here. Do they all just sit on the ground though? Is that all they do or can we place them on something? Can we make like a bunch of tables? I put them on the tables? Or do they all have to be on the ground? I'm not certain how this works just yet. Um, I did end up last night reorganizing the plant beds over here at my entrance. But I think I'm going to leave these here just kind of for aesthetics right now. Um, just because I kind of like how it looks. I put the little walkway in between them both. Uh, so, you know, Mike can do his thing on either side. And I just kind of like how it looks. I might put maybe like the, the tall ones, like the tall plants on these three and then the short plants here. Maybe just make them all tall plants. Um, it'd be nice if I could set each one individually to uh, like have it so like Mike ignores certain ones. Maybe just like leave these so that way I can just leave them and just have them be for aesthetics. But I guess they'll probably just die if that happens, right? I don't know. I'm overthinking it, I think. Um, let's put some pl a couple of plant beds down really quick. I'm going to put these plant beds in here. Uh, and then what I'm going to also do is I'm going to try and build like a table or something. Just, just to, for testing purposes to see if... Oh, we might have to rotate these. It doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> 
we'll, we'll put them up for testing purposes and see if we can actually uh, put them on top of a table. Because that would be that'd be really cool. I don't know. For some reason, I just think that they should be elevated. Um, I don't want to hurt Mike's back. And I think it would just look kind of cool. Okay, I think we have everything that we need. I did the math right, which um, odds are uh, there's like 50% chance that I did it right. Alright, there we go. Um, so I don't have any seeds just yet, but that's because I want to build a table. What does that take? Two logs, six planks, and ten nails. We should be able to have that. I don't know if the table's going to look goofy or not. And there's also a coffee table. I assume that one sits a little bit lower on the ground. All right, so we need six nails. Well, or sorry, nine more nails and two logs. Got the logs. Let's go get some nails quick. All right, we should have everything to finish this up. All right, beautiful. Comes with the blood. All right. Oh, we can. Okay, so that just made it way more expensive, but oh no, this it's not we're not done yet. So let's move these. I don't know how this is going to look. Okay, does it is this going to fit too actually? Oh, it does. What does this look like, though? Um. Huh. I'm not quite convinced yet. Let's build the second one. What time is it? Oh, it's oh, it's just about to rain. Uh, let's build the second one and see how it looks with uh, another plant bed or two plant beds on it. Oh my goodness! I know I've, I'm sure I've said it a million times by now, but this rain and this thunder just sounds magnificent. Oh, I'm missing one plank. All right, final plank in. Let's throw this up here. Oh, an infected just died on our spike trap. And then right here. Yeah, I don't know if I like this or maybe just leave them on the ground. I'm probably going to end up settling for the ground. But you don't know until you actually try it, so I had to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to look just a lot better on the ground here. Maybe we can find some use for these tables at some point. Maybe we'll put them in here. Maybe uh, maybe we'll have... Ooh. Okay, maybe that's an, a, a kind of an aesthetic thing. Maybe have these kind of lying in the ground and then have the tables... You know, on the sides, like, I don't know. I don't know. My mind's running. I'm going to let it run a little bit. But um, let's get some plants in those now that we've actually just got those down. Oh, hey. What happened? You okay? Thanks for the screws. Okay. Um, what kind of what kind of veggies and fruits we got here? We do have a little bit of everything. Probably want some pumpkins and melons, some watermelons. Those are good for water and carbs. Uh, let's do regular melons as well. And then just some onions for the fun of it. And then I know you guys had mentioned getting a lot more uh, storage boxes in here for Mike. I desperately need that, especially... Oh, wait, he's empty. What's he doing with all the... With all the food. I thought he was filling it up. Or maybe... Did I fill it up and just forget? 
I think <laughs> I think I probably did. <laughs> well, either way, let's uh let's get some food planted in here. I thought he should fill them up. Can't remember. Sometimes uh, I, my mind's always running at a million miles an hour, so it's a little chaotic. <laughs> It jumps from one thing to another. I forget things. I forget things that I've done. I just get distracted. I don't know. It's a it's a crazy world up there in my brain. Um, we're going to get two more storage boxes in here for Mike. And then probably should get him some food here. Do I have any on me? Uh, I've got some couple potatoes. Enjoy. I suppose we can start using... Oh no! <laughs> I put the wrong storage box in here. I forgot he has a special one. Whoa, whoa! Okay, sorry Mike, sorry. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to use this for something at some point. Maybe I can put seeds in there. Either way, let's get that built here really quick. There we go. So now we've got three for him. Um, he's... There are two potatoes in here. So these gotta be from him, right? What did he do with all the other veggies? I'm not sure. Did he eat them? I don't think so. Because he was starving. Um, let's have him take care of the plant beds here. And repair stuff last. I don't even have any repair kits made for him. I'll do that at another time. It's not pressing right now. I'm really, really liking the progress on our, on our whole base here. Liking the aesthetics, everything going on here. Obviously, I still have to, <laughs> I have to, I have to, I have to figure something out up on the roof. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. I don't know if we're gonna keep it bare up there for the um, wind turbines or what exactly we're gonna do. Um, so we've been going here for a while. We've got that greenhouse done. So one more thing that I want to do before it gets too dark, I think it's only about 2 p.m., is move this one of these copper uh, extractors all the way over to the aluminum. And maybe we should actually have a third one in there. Uh, that might be a little ambitious because we only have so much biofuel, which by the way, I did make some extra. Uh, as you can tell, I now, now to have a total of 16. I used up all my uh, rotten food, all my spoiled food. And I left a little bit more in here. Maybe I should give some to Mike just so he doesn't complain. Uh, maybe I just build, I'll just bring the one extractor for now. I, 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 I'm I, gonna have to split up this biofuel with, with all the other uh, extractors. So I think that's, I think that's the plan right now. So let's do that. I'm gonna go hit this cave down here, fill it up, and then we will bring it over to the other one and then see where we're at from there. All right, we are down at the copper cave here with an extra copper extractor. Got quite a bit in this one, quite a bit in this one here. So let's throw that all in here quick. All right, and then might as well fill that up while we're here and grab our cart. Grab this extractor and let's head out to the next one. All right, here we go. We are finally at the aluminum cave. So let's get this set down in here. There we go. Okay, uh, let's throw four on there. Power that on. And did I power on the last one? I, I don't remember that copper one. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, we got a little bit of aluminum here, seven total. Which I think will allow us to actually finish our fourth turbine, I believe it is. So that's actually awesome. So these should both be full, they should both be on, wonderful. All right, let's throw these into here. And let's head back to the base. 
All right, we have made it back safe and sound. Only one more bear attack. Uh -huh. All right, let's see here. So, let's take all of our aluminum. We got two, four, six, seven. Let's throw it on here. And because this place runs on magic, they are finished already. So let's go up here and finish off this fourth wind turbine. Oh, wonderful. We only have one more to finish, kind of. Well, let's throw this in here. Since we're here, we only need we need eight more aluminum, four iron, and five lead and four cobalt, which I think we have most of. But now we should have what 20, 40, 60, 80 power going. So that's gonna help us regenerate it a little bit faster down here. Um, which speaking of that, let's turn this back on. And how much are these batteries again? It might be worth making another one. Oh, that does take four more aluminum, which we just used up our last one. So maybe we put it down for now as a little bit of a reminder and fill up what we have. So we need lead, copper, and electrical parts. We have a ton of electrical because uh, that last run was really awesome for it. And let's get some lead and copper. Uh, do we have lead? Yes, we do a little bit. Okay. All right, then the last pieces we need for that is five aluminum, which um, shouldn't be too bad now that we've got two. We literally doubled our production of that. So that's awesome. So we're going to have uh, enough for that here soon. And then, yeah, we're really going to need a lot, lot, a lot, a lot of power. Um, we've got what I, what I perceive as a lot of power so far. And then that battery helps so much because it automatically turns off and it regenerates everything. And come on, guy, I'm trying to, I'm try I'm trying to talk here. Oh, uh oh. How much do I have left? Ooh, not much. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and get those and deal with this guy. And then forget what I was talking about. Come here. Ugh. All right, that guy was easy enough. Let's get our bolts back. We're gonna have to make more soon. We only have a total of three left, if you include the one in the crossbow here. But yeah, we, we're gonna need a ton of uh, power here. And ooh, one thing uh, that we can check here really quick is this, the solar panel. That takes five iron, five aluminum, four copper, and four cobalt. That's cheaper. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's cheaper, and that generates 40 power at its peak. At its peak, of course. So it's technically better than the wind turbine, but I assume it doesn't work at night and or when it's cloudy. So I guess that's the downside. So more than anything, it would pay off to have both types of power generators. Um, so I don't want to get too excited about that. I, <laughs> I thought I made some major discovery. So um, no, that's awesome. We made a ton of progress. It took me, it actually took me quite some time this episode to get a lot of this done, but we, we did quite a bit. We were able to get that another massive kind of platform extended out there to get that greenhouse done. We're able to get this done. We were able to get two more blueprints out of looting out of those two towns and a ton more electrical parts and a little bit more plastic. We're, uh, we're not quite done with the plastic just yet. Um, and now that we do have some more electricity going, um, how much was this one again total? Um, I don't remember. Okay, this is another hundred. So, you know, that, that that's not too bad. Once we get that fifth one done, we could probably slow down the production on these for a while and then just let this you suck up all the electricity for a little bit. And then we're going to have a ton of cans of oil. And then we can use that to make plastic as well as power the other things that we need, like that uh, saw bench right there. So, I mean, <laughs> as always, we still have a ton of work to do. Our uh, ingot shelf is looking pretty bare. Of course it is. It, it always is. Um, but man, that was, that was a good one. That was a productive one. So I'm really excited to, to really start ramping up a lot of our farming. Well, Mike's farming. Uh, <laughs> and my food produced. And uh, a lot of this electricity. So we, we still have a lot of work. But man... As always, I am I'm so excited for the next episode already. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, I seriously appreciate it. Uh, if you liked it, throw a like on the video. Subscribe if you do want to see more. Um, obviously, if you've been around here for a while, you know that I, I've got a whole series on this and I'm starting up more series as well on different survival games. And so there's always more to come here. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave it there and I will see you guys in the next one. 
Later.